What's up, everybody? This is uh, One Legged Pagan. Uh, I'm Kermit. Uh, as some of you know, I'm trying to do these videos here. Uh, I'm back for another one. I tried last week. Oh, man. I sat out in a cold garage for a couple hours uh, reshooting videos after videos. And I started talking. I was trying to read from uh, the Hava Mall. Uh, read you guys the, the stanzas, but uh, I messed up so many times and I couldn't figure out the editing stuff apps on my phone, <laughs> so I kind of just set it aside and uh, forgot about it. Uh, this week, yesterday, I tried to do, I did a video, came out okay, I uh, just couldn't figure out how to clip uh, certain pause marks and a couple of times where I paused a lot. Uh, anyways, uh, so uh, I'm trying it again this morning, uh, it's Sunday here in Colorado. Uh, the sun is out, but it's, you know, still cold. Um, so I'm going to try to redo what I did yesterday. Um, I, I was really kind of struck uh, by my ruin pulls. Uh, I try to every day get in my bag that uh, I bought a cheap little kit uh, to uh, make this bag. It's a whole, whole sack. Okay, and then I got my um, crystal. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce the word for you guys. Some of you may know what it is. Uh, I get in there, I get my ruins out. Uh, and the ruin I pulled yesterday was this one, this one, and I made this ruin set uh, about two years ago. Uh, this one is Hagalaz. You can see it there. Okay. Good stuff, right? So Hagalaz, uh, it's a, uh, it's a ruin for protection and, and uh, uh, Let me read. Uh, the Elder, the Futhark book I have, oops, uh, Handbook of Ruin Magic, um, which some of you may or may not know. Um, it for Hogalaz. Uh, Hogalaz, uh, the egg, um, hail. Like as in, you know, hail from you know, the weather. Um, uh, interpretation, icy egg or seed of primal cosmic life and pattern. Uh, connection of two standing beams and then a, a crossbar and a half-timbered building technique. Um, Tagalaz is, a, again, a cosmic egg that is filled with crystallized magical power. Um, I'll try to move on here. The H ruin is the mystery of framework of the world and defines primal form of the multiverse. Um, uh, it's a complete model containing potential energy of neutral power in the multiverse, which is born from the dynamic, generating, evolving unity of fire, energy, and ice, antimatter. Um, some of the key words for, for Hagalaz, uh, again, it keeps saying cosmic pattern, framework, completion, union, evolution, and, uh, protection. Uh, some of the magical workings, completeness and balance of power, the mystical experiences and knowledge, evolutionary becomings and operations, becoming operations, uh, and protection and I read it to you guys because I, I'm just learning the ruins myself and I don't want to uh, try to misinterpret too many things uh, this other book which a friend sent me uh, a while back um, uh, the Hagalaz, uh, Hail, the Seed, the Ice Seed uh, Strengths are uh, Temporary Destruction 
or unwelcome change that brings positive transformation, uh, short-term difficulty for long-term long -term gain. Uh, challenges, uh, if it was to be read upside down, uh, alienation from others, isolation, suffering by allowing others to, to bring us down. Uh, um, ice ruin. Won't really get into any of that. Um, and then, um, so I, I pull this ruin, right, out of, out of my uh, bag and I carry it with me every day. Uh, um, I do my research on it a little bit. Sometimes it just sits in my pocket and I, I you know, just, it's just with me all day. And I don't look at the definitions or the um, practices for the ruin that day. Anyways, uh, but I also have this app on my phone, um, which does a daily ruin pulling just like I do. <laughs> I only use the app, excuse me, uh, I only use the app to uh, just give me something to read uh, about it. I know it's just an app, so I, I'm, I know to be careful what advice I get from the app, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my studies, you know, they say paganism is the, is the religion that you have to do your homework, you know, so I'm, I'm doing my homework and, you know, trying and I'm learning. So then I, I come out here yesterday morning after I pulled the ruin, I tried to shoot this video, I got about a 15 minute video jog and uh, I came to a, a pause and uh, I stopped the video, I went inside for a minute, came back out um, and my phone had notified me of this app's daily room pulling. Just so happened that it was hard to watch. Um, so on this app it says uh, procrastination, which I'm really good at procrastination. Um, completion, which I'm not <laughs> very good at completing, uh, failure, illness, and cleansing gaps. Uh, Hagalaz is one of the ruins associated with winter. It is icy and constricted. However, just like hail will go from ice to water, Hagalaz shows us that with time all things will transform from something bad to something good. It is a ruin of the unconscious mind, as well as the thought process. This ruin rules the laws that shape events, the past, as well as the present in our lives. Um, appearing as it does at the beginning of the second et, uh, and marks both a beginning and an end. It represents that whatever, that whenever things appear to be going too well, you can expect a good, wealthy, healthy whack in the head from the fates. Just to make sure you're paying attention. These sorts of wake-up calls from the gods will happen frequently throughout a person's life, but are often misinterpreted as, in, but are often misinterpreted as divine punishment for some imagined wrong when in fact are, mere, are mer merely a way of drawing our attention to a re recurrent pattern in our life. Unfortunately, these types of events have a tendency to repeat themselves with greater and greater severity until the lesson is learned and the pattern is broken. Fire up your determination and face these challenges head on knowing that they are just stepping stones on the way to our goal. The greater challenge the more you gain by overcoming it. Okay, so I read that one fully uh, because that one just struck me more. You know, I'm trying to shoot these videos. They're making me nervous because I don't know how to edit. I don't know, you know, how to stop a video, start a video. You know, I just barely figured out how to get this app that I have on my phone to... Uh, put the two of them together but at the bottom of the screen it has their logo 
throughout the whole video. I'm like, okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to edit, you know, a blur spot over that, and I don't know how. Anyway, so, uh, you know, that's just a minor thing in life, you know. Hogger laws, you know, the protection ruin, you know, like it talks about changing, uh, confronting, you know, unwanted changes, um, you know, uh, moving forward. That's how I I'm, was interpreting it. So I shot another six minute video. I learned how, figured out how to merge them together. Like I said, the logo. So this morning I have to redo another one. I have to keep pushing forward and and uh, gain gain the knowledge of the ruins uh, and, and and the pagan the pagan path that I'm on. Um, you know, I'm starting out this channel, it's awkward, it's stressful, you know, uh, so hopefully, you know, within time, it'll get better. Uh, I'll maybe try to figure a few things out and maybe I'll just keep running with it and sit here and talk to you. Um, so today, my uh, um, ruin is... Uh, Radio, uh, Rejo. Uh, so today, my ruin that I pulled is Rejo. Um, I'll s start with this one. Um, the cosmic law of right and uh, order in the multiverse. This is expressed by such natural natural phenomena as the daily path of the sun and cycles of nature and humanity. Um, uh, name of the solar wagon and the chariot of Thor. Uh, uh, under uh, a wheel under the chariot in the view as half of the solar wheel. Um, this ruin represents high order of the innate journey through the paths of the nine worlds of Yggdrasil. Um, some of the key words, uh, right action and order, cosmic law, uh, religion magic, ritual, rhythm, journey, uh, some of the magical workings strengths, ritual, abilities, and experience, access to inner advice, raises consciousness to right and natural processes, blending with personal and world rhythms, obtaining justice according to right. Uh, you know, keep, keep moving forward, keep pushing, keep doing what you, you believe is for you. Uh, this book, uh, The Sun Wheel and the Wheel of the Wagon, moving forward. Uh, the strengths for the ruin when you do it in a reading right side up. Uh, successful journeys, travel, relocation, uh, taking the initiative, taking the initiative, that's a good one. Uh, seizing an opportunity. Uh, blank side up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Waiting for the ideal moment to act, which may never come. An inner restlessness needing to unwise challenge. Oops. An inner restlessness leading to unwise change in the outer world for its own sake. I'm going to take a drink here. Pop in mouth, you know. <laughs> so I'm almost done here. I'll wrap it up. I'm going to read from from this guy here. Uh, this app. Uh, keywords for Rejo uh, Ruin. A change. A time of respite. Uh, vacation. A time of change. Uh, transition. Road. The wheel. 
This ruling represents the vehicle or method that we use in order for us to achieve an object or goal. Reho allows us to channel our energies effectively so that these energies flow in a manner that will help us obtain our goal. However, to use this ruling to its full power, we must know how to place ourselves in the right place at the right time. Uh, and I really like how you know, this, this app puts a meaning to it, you know. Um, recognize that everything comes in cycles and that by following them, you will process quickly and, and efficiently, sorry. Uh, align your lifestyles to the seasons and honor the turning of the year. Embrace uh, hard times knowing that the harder it is now, the easier it will get in the future. Everything has its opposite and the challenges bring equal and opposite rewards. Life and change continue. We must always go on. We will eventually end up where we begin put on a higher ground, on a higher level, and with a better perspective, the journey never really ends. That was the first time I really read, read with the app. I read it with you. So, on that note, I'm uh, going to wrap it up. Uh, I hope the gods favor me today. I hope the gods favor my family. And I hope the gods favor you all. Uh, May the gods be with us, walk with us. The gods won't do anything uh, for those that don't help themselves. So, uh, keep moving forward. Uh, let's go.